My name is Ash Minnick, and this is Endymion's Gate. Endymion's Gate is based on a game called Hill Folk that's published by Pelgrane Press. It was created by Robin D. Laws, and we, Endymion's Gate takes place in a setting called the Dream Space, which was created by Keith Baker. This show is, again, based on Hill Folk and not an exact copy of the game. We've altered it slightly to fit your screen. I would love to introduce you to our cast and the crew. Hey, everybody. I am Luis Carrazzo, and I'm playing Ben Solis, Chief of Security. Uh, ben is uh, six feet tall, uh, buzzed head, beard, uh, tattoos on his, uh, the sleeves of his arms that kind of look like murals of gargoyles. Um, and he's uh, ready for some action. Speaking of action, I'm Becca Scott. <laughs> I don't know why that made sense. It didn't. Hi. Uh, so my character is the chief science officer, Yvette Pip. She's four foot nine, uh, bright green skin, uh, long dangly arms, very long and noodly physique, I would say, uh, but very small and uh, only 22 years old, but a bit of a science whiz, you could say, really jump to the top of her field right away and is the chief science officer on a ship such as the endymion which is you know pretty big deal uh and uh she's the coolest person on the ship i would say so there you go uh hi i'm Fabria Iyengar, and i would like to disagree <laughs> my character is director talis gray uh, she doesn't even go here she's just <laughs> on the ship and that makes her the coolest because she just snuck on <laughs> no uh talis is actually a corporate suit she works for mantra the corporation uh bankrolling the endymion and yeah she is 510 slender super angular uh with cosmetically altered gray eyes and yeah she's just a bad bitch Ooh, speaking of bad bitches, I'm Xander John <laughs> Ray. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to be playing Slade Salty Larsa, depending on who you ask, uh, the navigator and the resident alien on the ship. Uh, we are navigating through the dream space, and Salty is a, a Silver Eyes, which is the native alien species of that world. Uh, he is also around six foot when he's in his humanoid-esque form uh, and uh, is completely sort of gem-like in appearance. It's more like, um, I think there were those 90s toys with, with kind of looked like crystals but they were softish and like jelly like um sparkle sandals that's sort of the consistency Ooh, jelly sandals jelly like sandals jellies. Uh, yeah, he looks like jellies, except he's got two uh, sort of silver plates uh, where eyes would be, uh, and they sort of look like uh, strainers or like insectoid eyes. Uh, yeah. Did you, I don't think you said the name of your alien race. Oh, the silver eyes, which Natural would explain. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, now the gesture for silver eyes. Silver oh. eyes. It's this. <laughs> Speaking of this. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Silver Eyes, Ooh. I'm a Captain Valkyrie Escobar, Captain of the Endemian. I do not have Silver Eyes, but I love Silver Eyes. Uh, <laughs> let's see. I'm a 5'5". Five five. I've got bright, bright neon orange, uh, Viking-like mohawk, curly fro. I've got tattoos on the side of my head. I've got wings on my neck. Uh, what else? They're, they're I... tattoos. They're also tattoos. Right. <laughs> Good to clarify. Wing tattoos on my neck. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah. Um, Becca, I'm sorry to remember, did you clarify Dr. Pip, although she is green, is a human, she's just a human from a different planet? I don't understand why that wouldn't have been clear. <laughs> <laughs> that's totally fair. That's totally fair. I'm so sorry, this I don't makes need to explain myself. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, this team makes up the core crew of the ship Endymion, uh, which is, this is several hundred years uh, into the future in which a technology has been discovered uh, that allows folks to travel through the collective unconscious, or as in common parlance, parlance is referred to, the dream space. You start at a ship's gate, you go into the dream space, and then come out of the gate somewhere else uh, by navigating through dreams. In the last episode, it, this story began with the ship and Demian becoming lost in the dream space. 
which means they're traveling from dream to dream. Uh, no way to get back to a gate without finding um, what's called a, a, uh, a the dream of a sleeping beauty or a dream that's already sort of been navigated and, and a charted dream, if you will. So yeah, so they were lost. It was very, uh, you know, epic and, and action heavy. And without further ado, uh, let's begin episode two of Endymion's Gate. come to see the rest of the footage? Wonderful! Accessing files from Endymion's final mission. Our next log... Oh! Oh, this is very odd, Admin. This log comes not from a core crew member, but from a standard crew member that did not have version Delta of the Champ implant. This is... exciting. Let's see what this non-core crew member has to say. Begin log. Um, is this... is this all? Okay. Hello! I'm Klebox. I'm not really sure who this video is for. I guess myself? Hello, future Klebox! Well, so, um, it's been 21 solar days since we, uh, got lost in a dream space. Um, Dr. Pip finally told me why she keeps talking to herself. Apparently all of the core crew have a cognohaptic monitoring program implanted into them that they are required to talk to. It, um, monitors crew satisfaction, it appears when they're upset, or I'm not sure. And they just, they just all keep complaining about it, but... way well, I figure at least... At least they got someone to talk to. So, I thought I might do logs as well. And I can talk to future Klebox. Hello, again, future Klebox. <clears throat> Well, so, this was exciting at first, when we first got lost in the dream space. I'd never been on a ship that's been lost in the dream space. Generally, it's just, you know, standard procedure, and, and I'd never been to the above. Uh, my first time up there was very difficult, but, you know, it, it, it's different every time. And, I mean, I saw, I saw a dragon. Um, I saw a, a, a lake made of tears. That was, that was actually very sad. Um, but it just keeps going. And I don't know how much longer it's gonna be going and I don't, don't want this to be my normal, you know? Um, if we just keep pushing, if we hop from dream to dream, uh, you know, sometimes the ship, very often, the ship stops, and when the ship stops, we have to go to the above and solve the dream in order to get out of it. Uh, sometimes we have bleed on the ship, so the, the pilot's dreams kind of leak in. Uh, most folks aren't really getting along. Uh, you know, I don't have many folks to talk to except Dr. Pip, and she's been really, I don't know, she goes to the above all the time, she's, well, I'm, I'm hoping that'll change, though, uh, in about 20 minutes, the, the director, Gray, she's, she's called a meeting with everybody, um, and she said she's 
she's got an announcement or she's i don't know i'm i'm just hoping somebody's figured out something as to why we're still stuck here because no one seems to care why it happened they just want to go to the above and i'm just tired i think i'm real tired okay um clay box out do I have to hit something on the how do I end clip <laughs> he is interesting well let's see what this next clip is yes this appears to be uh, in ta da director Talis Gray's office she has called all of the core crew here this is logged as Oh, she's logged it as meeting Alpha. Interesting, interesting. All right. Begin clip. We could have gone, met in one of the common quarters. It's a little roomier. This is fine. Is everyone here? Uh, looks like it. I Good. prefer a distance um, between me and up. Never mind. Do you have a problem, Dr. Pip? Well, if we could, if we could stand further apart, but yeah, it's it'll be fine. It's no, it's fine. It's fine. May I begin? Yes. It's been three weeks. Of Whoa. Oh, sorry. That's just a long time. Are you angry? It is. Yes. Can you not tell? I don't know how many times I've had to chase you down in hallways and harass the engineering to figure out what's going on. No one has an answer for me, so I figured you all could come here and explain to me now just why we haven't finished our journey. Just then you're, you're, you hear a, a sort of the soft, dulcet tones of your doorbell, as it were, somebody is out at the door. <clears throat> Enter. And your engineer enters. What does he look like? Uh, he, what, what do they look like? A grape. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they are uh, extremely tall, like six six, super gangly, uh, bald. They have like mauve, purplish skin, and uh, this is another like off-worlder human from a, a low grab planet. So they they grow a little lankier, and uh, this is Jace. Dynamo, emo, but Talus has never called him by the way. Oh, director, Good. sorry, sorry, I'm late. I'm assuming you're late, because not because you don't respect my time, but because no, you figured out something amazing and you're here to share it with the crew. Um, no, I, I don't know. I did. Um, no, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just late because I. I'm sorry. I, I have no reason, director. Why don't you I organize you. your meeting, Talis, and then we'll come back and reconvene when all this is done, because we don't need to be here. For Captain! Now. Why don't you organize your crew? You've been gallivanting to the above day after day. This is not a pleasure craft. It is a commercial ship. We have passengers, and they can't stay asleep that much longer. So can you please Get your head out of the above or your ass and move us forward. I think that's what I'm called for. <clears throat> Is it? Well, may if I, I may, interject uh, just to say... Uh, I'm sorry, Isa, I didn't hear anything. No, no, no. Uh, just wanted to say that uh, there's been incredible samples and incredible advancements found that I've been able to take the information that Val and I have learned when going above and, and really have, have distilled it down to information that is very, very helpful to, uh, to perhaps to Mantra, your corporation in the future. And, you know, perhaps, um, well, the passengers who are in stasis, they've been useful as well. May Ma'am, did you want me to uh, relay the information we discussed earlier? Oh, sorry, yes. Uh, so, as you know, 
director um we've reviewed the logs we've reviewed all of uh our our pre-check logs etc and everything was in working condition prior to uh, uh take off or uh, uh prior to going through the gate there was a about 10 minutes prior to us getting lost in in the first dream in the first nightmare there was a discrepancy from the readings coming from the pilot but the major issue is that our systems malfunctioned in a way that could only happen if someone had changed well it appears somebody tampered with the system we'll go back you said something on the pilot's end the pilot the person whose dream we're moving through how do we know it wasn't on that end obviously well a as you know doctor technically we're not moving through the pilot streams we're, we're moving through the dreams of, of, of others unknown uh which review is tampering with my ship that's what we'd like to figure out mum thank you for this update we will of course as you discover any new information relay that to me uh, of course ma. Uh, or you can relay it to your captain oh i will keep you abreast of the situation val i'm confused Perfect. what is the exact hierarchy of who is in charge on this ship because i had always understood that a captain was the highest officer on any ship uh, regardless thank you maybe um, talus uh, is unaware with how ships run and order you can refer to me as director gray and remember, this is a mantra ship. So while you may be the <laughs> acting leader, I outrank you. I don't think you would do so well on your own out here, Director. I mean, you kind of need us. <laughs> Maybe we should just uh, let you go above by yourself or stay down here by yourself and, uh, and see how well you run things. Maybe you could find the missing ship that made the ship malfunction. Maybe you were the one that tampered with it if somebody was to have been responsible for that. Mm -hmm. Right, the tank. Every, every day we stay out here, we hemorrhage hundreds of thousands of dollars. So I assure you, there is no incentive for me to have done this. Well, well, every day that we stay out here, we get officer. closer to our own demise. So there's no incentive for us to stay out here either. None. By the way, so yes. So What's leave. the nature of the tampering? I mean, is there any other- Oh, finally asking a question. I just I gave you a lead. So how about you do your job now and figure out who this person is? You leave the chief out of this. He's out there every day. He's taking the, the teams. He's he's working harder than any of us. And when I said it was a missing ship, I didn't know that. I thought that was a possible reason why a ship could malfunction. I didn't know that that was- The chief has uh, been working hard. Mm, how, did, mm -hmm. how did you know about the missing ship? Why is everyone so tall around me? You're tall, Slate's tall. Everyone's so tall. I've got to go. <laughs> What's with the ship? What is, what are you talking about? No, a, a chip, there There was actually a, a chip missing. Um, I believe chip. you said that when you first came in. I actually hadn't mentioned the chip. I, I hadn't gotten to that yet. You all started fighting. So there's not another ship attacking us. There's a no, chip attacking no. us. <laughs> no, no, no. I, there's um so within engineering there's there's an entire system that's just safety measures. It just keeps us in line. If for instance the pilot is unable for whatever reason to navigate properly or or something happens, there's a backup systems that keep it in line. Um and those are especially important when you've got a new pilot as we do, or a mm, I'm sorry, Director, but it, our pilot is not exactly standard, uh, and and so the safety wait, wait. measures. Whoa, 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 whoa! Uh, I've been feeding the like I, that's my job. I'm directly connected with this. What, what do you mean not up to standard? What's wrong with them? What do I have? Oh God! No, no, no! Not that they're not, not up to standard. You. Not that they're not up to standard. They're just non-standard. This is a test program. Um, but my point is so we're a research ship tell us we're a research ship so then it doesn't matter when the passengers get there because that's what all your money is for to see what we find in the above ah Aha. that's not at all what's going on we ah. were looking for new options for, to source pilots and yes our current pilot is the 
pilot of a new project of using prisoners as so we're a traveling with a test pilot wait this isn't a volunteer i don't know if ethically that's sound uh, well technically he volunteered <clears throat> or can uh, you consent what makes course. this pilot not a standard candidate what makes this pilot different than the ones that we have been accustomed to traveling with oh just the uh <clears throat> well, those ones are doing it for monetary compensation rather than uh, not feeling like they have a choice the point is when, when you have a new pilot or a test pilot uh the, the the safety measures that are in place become doubly important and there was a malfunction uh a, a, a sort of discrepancy with the pilot about 10 minutes before we got lost and the safety measures that were in place weren't working because there was a small we discovered later a small chip was removed so the problem um, wasn't with the pilot well there was a problem with the pilot but had the safety measures been working the problem wouldn't have resulted in us getting lost it just sort of would have been a slight you know blip little bit of turbulence if you will but okay. uh, unfortunately the safety measures weren't in place for whatever reason and they were definitely checked and triple checked prior to departure mm. interesting well i guess we're at square one then with no leads or information but captain escobar and i do need to collect our samples for the day from going above into the dream space so mm -hmm. at some point we'll need to wrap this up uh, yes. purpose. so the safety measures are fine now we're just missing no. a chip that so they're not fine. We are missing a chip. Still missing a chip. Right. Because right. the system was tampered with. Uh, we're working, uh, we've created, uh, well, we're working on a sort of a, 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 a patch, if you will, but it's just, you know, outright tampering is not generally something we have to deal with. So we're set up to repair chips, but not replace them entirely from scratch. Mm. I. Noted. Director, may may I may I speak out of turn? Go uh go ahead. I I'm <clears throat> not a detective, but well, I, I didn't mention the chip when I entered. Oh no, I absolutely also heard Doctor Pip implicate herself in this. I was hoping she would excuse herself so we could have a more frank conversation, but no. <laughs> Let's have it while we're while she's here. Pip's a scientist. Every other word is chip. But she knew that the chip was missing, a critical piece. But so. there is so much that we can learn in dream space. Yes, I, I, I took the chip. I took the chip because the samples <laughs> are invaluable. Do you understand? Do you understand the opportunity that we have here? All of you. So you sabotage the ship intentionally. Sabotage? No, 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 absolutely not. No, 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 no. You got us lost in dream space. Intentionally. It's not, it's not, it's not. How you see it, but that is in fact what you've done. Well, if you were to put it that way, it's just that, well, Chief, I. Chief, are you going to arrest her or do I have to order you? Whoa. I have a, a captain that doesn't like me doing things out of my own accord, so I have to wait patiently to see what I am told to do, so it seems. It, w it wasn't, it wasn't, well, it's not, it's not that easy. I can't just, I Listen, don't have it. Can you, where, where, can we just put it back? Uh, it, it would, it would help immensely if the chip was returned. Uh, we would still have to find a charge of dream, but, you know, we can't guarantee that we could stay the course without our safety measures and in, in especially with the current state of the pilot. Pip, while I appreciate your curiosity and your trailblazing efforts, and I believe the value in uh, researching the above, you have also put our ship and the passengers in danger. And I- Gotten a few of us almost killed up in the above numerous times. I feel Pip, for this, for this next uh, excursion, you must stay on board. I feel there should be a punishment of some sort, and I, I hope you understand that I, it, is, it is just because you put the sake of the ship, 
behind your own desires and and uh and i can't allow that i can't allow that that's as far as the punishment will go but you, you love will... the above too you wanted this you told me this was the best thing that you could ever imagine <laughs> Pip, I didn't give you any orders to do anything. <sighs> ben, take Pip away. Um, I, I'm sorry, do you have the chip, Stin? It's underneath the... the console. I just sort of slid it, it under. All right, Ed, uh, I think I having the chip it. back, again, won't necessarily help us in navigating, but it could help to keep us out of nightmares. Um, which at least will just be in, in unnavigated dreams versus dangerous ones. But the likelihood of, of a, going into a nightmare, I mean, it hasn't happened yet. It, it's very slim chance. Engineer Demo, please go retrieve the chip. Just, just sort of figured they would have looked under there. And they right, leave Pip, the room. We gotta go. I gotta take you down. I'm sorry, is someone talking to me? Yeah, that's me. I gotta do my job as ordered by the captain, and you have to follow me down. Come on, just come along. No shill. I go with him. Captain Escobar. Val. Hmm. It seems you've got a leaky ship. Well, Talus, it seems you put someone on our ship who probably shouldn't be here. Maybe that's why the dreams are taking us in every which place. You know full well that this was not a pilot error. He is absolutely functioning within margins. And if the chip wasn't missing, it never would have been a problem. And you never would have needed to know. How do we even know? Is this his first time going into dream space? Are we yes. the, are we the, oh, we're the trial ship. Here, you're mad at me for taking these passengers and they're not getting their location on time. They're mad at us. When you put some experimental pilot on my ship? I'm not mad at you. I'm <sighs> mad that you're not handling your problem with Dr. Pip. It's been handled. She's fine. She's a researcher. You put her she on time out. Fantastic. All right, Talis, I'll replace her with her. There's no one who can do what she does. There is no one who has a handle on Dreamamine and what the passengers need. So what do you plan to do to make sure that she doesn't do something like this again for science? Well, I guess I'll have a talk with her mm. and I'll forbid her from going to the above next time. And I think she'll learn her lesson, so. Is that good enough, Talis? No, it's not. Well, too bad, because we're stuck on here together for a little while. You have one week. <laughs> Get us moving again, or I'll have to step in again. You're welcome, by the way. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Valley's clips. <laughs> well, Admin. It appears we have discovered the initial... But that's not where the problem stopped, unfortunately. Moving on to the next clip. This seems to be the log of Dr. Yvette Pip. Begin log. I smash a, a, a whole row of sushi dishes. Empress. Empress, your stress levels are very high. I did it. Uh, For a reason. No one understands that. No one understands that I, I am working on something here. What I'm doing is important. I understand, Empress. But you're not human. You can't talk to the rest of them for me. Can you talk to the rest of them for me? Can you talk to their champs? Maybe Technically, can... the champs are not networked, Empress. I just... I don't know what to feel about Ben. He's so frustrating. He holds me back and pushes me down. I'm pretty sure he's the reason I sprained my ankle. When we were... 
first traveling weeks ago. There's so much I can learn there. I have been learning there about how dream space work, about how dream matter is composed. I, I mean, everyone already saw the way I made my, my, I utilized the thicoxidone in order to create the aerosol. I mean, that's some of my proudest work and it's only growing from there. Don't they understand? Just a stupid program. I shove the air where I see Champ, even though Champ is in my head. Empress, I understand you are frustrated. It is difficult sometimes for humans to understand science and the importance of it. If you remember correctly, when we first began speaking, it was difficult for you to understand my purpose. Sure. I was gonna make fun of you and say there's no way you could empathize, but... Are you sentient? I do not believe so, Empress. Right. Sometimes it seems like you are. Well... It was... when Ben first took me to the brig. Then I finally spoke to him after three weeks of... the silent treatment, essentially. I figured he needed to know. He is not my keeper. But it was good to finally speak. I think we figured some things out. And I think, um, I think he found some ways to be more comfortable. Now, if I could only get him to help me. I think it's good you had that conversation, Empress. I look forward to hearing about it in detail. End clip. Pulling up associated clip. Location, the brig. Crew members, Dr. Yvette Pip and Chief Bin Solis. Begin clip. What, Bella? What are you thinking? What am I thinking? What is our purpose anyway? To, to gain knowledge for mantra and for for all of humanity for right, everything but at what cost pip you do you realize that you you on the number of occasions could have died i almost died the first time i was up there no you never did not everything if you control it with your mind you can control the dream space it's a dream bin it is flexible I'm hoping that's not, that you can that, learn that's that. That's not what they trained us to do when we're up there. That's not how, that's not the model that they trained us to follow. We're up there and we're supposed to recognize if and when there's danger and we're supposed to exterminate that danger and rectify whatever it is that's gone wrong. And so far, everything that they've explained to us that they've trained us to do, it, it's not exactly how it is. And you're reckless. So are you going to exterminate me? What do you think? I'm not even taking you to the brig. I mean, what? you know, they, I don't, as far as I recall, I don't think that they actually told us. They didn't really direct me where to take you. But in exchange for this, I need something from you. N name it. As long as I can still go to the above or at least be able to go to my lab. I Pulling I mean out my knife. Some sort of take this take this uh do you want to like just swap, take it. swap blood or something yeah take, no take i'm knife. not into that i don't know <laughs> i, I wouldn't <laughs> know what to do with you knife. think that i'm going to be doing look pip i know enough about you already to know that you're going to stubbornly insist on making your way back up there and you're gonna find your way up there again no matter what it is that val tells you no matter what it is that the director whatever punishment they actually concoct. Look, you're the only one that does, that knows to do whatever it is that you do. I don't even understand. And I'm worried about you and I don't want you getting hurt. So you need to, we need to make an agreement and we need to make time because I need to teach you how to kick some ass. So what? I'm, I will take you right back to your lab. I will take you, I will try my best to not get in the way 
of your obsession with what's going on up there, but you need to promise me that you're going to let me train you. Yes, of course. I, I would love to have... I mean, what, as long as it doesn't split my time between what I've been working well, on... Well, no, it's going to take some with... time, so you're going to have to make that compromise. This can't be second. This has to be a priority as well. And well, I, I get to choose when doesn't... we're doing it. It's not on the time that you decide. It's when I decide it. I thought... You... Oh, oh. This well, is gonna... I thought... Sure, I mean, I guess I've got some open time when I would have otherwise been in the above. If yeah, I'm of course, because allowed. all you want to do is be in the above nonstop. So you're gonna have to give me some of that time. Then you are giving me a lot of different things now. You're, you're hot and cold all at once. I don't understand why you're doing this. No, I'm offering you something and I'm giving you the parameters and I know that you're used to just getting your way every single time so it seems like I'm being hot and cold or whatever it is that you think I'm being but it's not. This is how human beings make a compromise. But why are you You are human this? as well, aren't why you? Why do you even care? Because I mean, I, I appreciate it. I, I just... What? Because I do. Okay? Because... Is this about you? Because yours? your brother was a friend of mine and I owe it to him to look out for you and I, it's, it's clear that you're not going to let me do it on my terms so I'm letting you have some of it on your terms if you just please for fuck's sake just let me have a little bit on my terms too can you just budge a little and let me help you take care of yourself when you're up there I think this isn't known for budging, but... I know. Well, anything that could give me an advantage does seem to be a, a fair compromise. I take the knife, and when I would be going to the above, you will be training me to be better in the above. Yeah. Just in case you need to defend yourself, because there will come a time when Val isn't going to be there to keep you safe from harm and seems like you will be though actually no that's changing i'm not pip we're tired my my team and i we're we're not sleeping we're spread too thin and we're now taking rotations and next up on my list of things to do is i've got to meet with marcus at some point later today because we we're not going up there all together anymore and i'm not going up there every time it's... So let me stop you. I, I suppose that I, I was not entirely conscious of the ripple effect that my actions would have. And I guess well, that is my it. way of giving you an apology. Sort of. Well, you know, you... Uh, um, I'm, well, thanks. But you have to know that if, if anything happens to anybody up there, that's on you, Pip. You brought us here. I just want to make sure that as all of it goes down up there, because we're clearly having to go up there again and again and again, I need to make sure that you stay safe. Well, and I'm not always question. going to be there. So, um, I, I suppose the I question is whether I, the sacrifice of few is worth the advancements of the I many. don't, no, stop right there, Pip. I don't even want to have truth. that conversation. If you don't want to hear truth, if you don't want to hear truth, I don't know what you want to hear. I don't need to know that that's mm -hmm. how your brain works. I'd rather not know that right now, actually. Because what I hear is that if I had ended up left behind, and if you got whatever sample it was that you were looking for, that that would have been worth it for you. No, no, no. I Which is, you I know, actually I, not that not much of I a meant. surprise because everyone here is on their own agenda anyway. So don't make me regret the decision that I'm making, but I'm doing this for your brother to honor his memory and also because I owe him something. So I, I'm, I, I, on that note, I'm, I start taking Pip back to her lab. I have to hide my things anyway, just in case. First session is immediately after I'm done with Marcus. So you have about an hour, an hour and a half before I come back. But I'm going to right in the no. middle of... No. 
hour and a half. Good. End clip. Our next clip is of one Navigator Slade Larsa. I really enjoy watching the Navigator's logs. He is an interesting subject. Begin log. Oh, oh man. Oh, hey, champ. The weirdest stuff is going on, okay? I, 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 I don't know if it's bleed or what's going on, but you, you know, I've been training the captain, right? Uh, she seemed to have yes. this aptitude uh, out in the dream space, and, and she has been able to get the amorphous suits to sort of react, which, you know, normally only happens in the dream space, but I'm able to sort of train her like a silver eyes. And then she's, we, were, we were training and talking, and she just started floating. Like, floating. out of nowhere. Yeah. And I don't know if it was something coming in with, with the bleed or if it was this weird thing that's going on, but uh, I don't know. I got weirded out. Oh. Where was this? It was just, uh, it was on the flight deck. You know, it's it's like the flight deck, but I, I call it the flight deck when we're training. Oh, on the, the fight deck? With yeah. just you and the captain? Well, it was the captain and I, and then it was a normal training session, and then, yeah. Oh, fascinating. End clip. <laughs> Pulling up next log. On fight deck with navigator Slade Larsa and captain Valerie Valkyrie Val Escobar. Begin clip. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay. All right. So let's say I'm coming at you and I look like this. And uh, Slade shape shifts into like what looks like a giant bunny rabbit. Uh, it's still in that purple uh, crystalline pattern of his skin, but it's sort of this hopping motion that's coming towards you. Oh, okay. Wait, I'm supposed to do that. Well, think about what the problem could be and shape shift into a form that could help. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 okay. What's coming at me? A shape uh, uh, It's a bunny. I, I mean, it's bunny. as close as I could get to a, bu okay. a bunny. Uh, a, a giant net, a net, a net. Oh, well, okay. So, and I shapeshift back into a humanoid form. Like I said, the Morpheus suits do not allow you to change your mass. It's just what you look like, okay? Maybe a, a farmer or something, or like, a, I don't know, a, a, a wolf like creature. I'm not good at that part. A wolf, a wolf, okay, okay. I just uh, think about a wolf. Okay. Um, am I doing yeah, it? Uh, no, you just look like you're trying to do that human thing where stuff comes out. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, okay, all right, think, uh, let's think, um, uh, remember some of the training. Light on your feet, right? You, you gotta bounce back and forth, you're in a suit, you gotta feel around you, feel light, and, 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 and that's a little too light. How are you doing that? Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> whoa, whoa. Oh my god, I'm flying! <laughs> oh, is that because of the suit? Is that new technology? I don't know. No. Talisa bitch probably would have said something, or she probably wouldn't even let us have these suits if they did something this cool. Oh my god. What are you doing you to me? Like, come over here. Can I move? forward and I rush Slade too quickly and I bump into him <laughs> wow wow oh my god well I I don't think I can change anything yet but I'm I'm flying that'll do stuff humans wow. I don't know what to say, I mean, this could be dangerous. I mean, uh, what if it's like bleed coming in? But why would it only affect you? And and normally, it's you could see it, but 
This is like an ability. I don't, I don't know. I, I mean, I maybe it's, maybe it's the habit. Maybe it's- I don't think habit can do this, Cap. And I don't know if you're completely human. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, well, I've had many blood tests, and I haven't been told otherwise. I don't know, maybe I just go up into dream space a lot, and I just can actually handle it. I, I don't know, maybe I'm evolving. Huh. I, I, I don't know if that's how that works. Uh, uh listen, well, since you can float now, I guess, uh, can you walk with me, or I guess float with me we're done with training for the day yeah i'm still floating a foot above the ground so i'll just but i don't know how to move forward yet so i just kind of have to like slide along the walls to propel myself no what's up yeah i know that we're in the middle of something here it's kind of a situation but uh and i know i don't have a whole lot of rights you know, uh, because of what I am and, and everything, but I can request that maybe we don't use this pilot anymore. It sort of makes me uncomfortable thinking there's someone else doing something they don't want to do. I mean, I completely agree with you. I mean, I, I don't, it's, the, I mean, the prisoner, it's, I know you're a prisoner. You're working your time off here. Why weren't we made aware of we have another prisoner? Big fucking deal. Unless there's something that we shouldn't know about them. Yep. I know that you say that, but I have a hard time reading humans, and this just seems like too much of a coincidence. I just wanted to say you shouldn't use prisoners like this, myself included. Slade, it's not, it wasn't my idea. I, I, I hope you know, I mean, I'm, I did an exchange program for Mantra 2. And now I'm captaining a ship, which is different. I'm not a prisoner, but I did an exchange too. And I get it. You just, you'll work your time off and you'll be fine. And Yeah. I, and sometimes you can keep that identity and sometimes you slip in and you start working for them without even realizing it. I gotta be careful, Cap. I gotta be careful. Yeah. I get it. On I... the plus side, it looks like you're not floating anymore. So, I don't know what the deal was with that. I don't know. And my feet are definitely on the ground and we didn't notice. Listen. Slade. How much time do you have left on the ship? Hey, it's complicated. When we get back, when we finally get to where we're supposed to go, you're free, all right? Whether I break you on myself, whatever, you're not going to be a prisoner on this ship. Captain, if we get to where we're supposed to go, everyone's going to be free. And I just pat Slate on the back and yeah 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 touching good and I'll make my way back down to my quarters and clip well that was an interesting discussion hmm it seems that the navigator is also working was also working a, a prison work program interesting Updating records. Pulling up next log. Chief Ben Solis. Begin log. Making adjustments for sound. The... The... Oh. Hey, champ. <clears throat> Hello, Chief. 
Hmm. What do you need? I'm trying to... I'm trying to, like, you know, take a break for a moment. If I can, uh... Catch you up have on high, the rest. high levels of anxiety. I fear any rest you might get would not be very restful. <sighs> Perhaps we should talk through what is making you anxious. Well, at this point, I know that there's no way out of this, so, um... All right, what's making me anxious? You know, you really, really make me introspect more than I like. Uh, okay, um, yes, I am uh, I'm anxious, yes. I, uh, we're not finding our way out, and that's making me anxious, and my crew is exhausted, and I, uh, I'm tired, and I'm not as effective in the above as I thought, champ. And, uh, I'm, uh, not very good at this. And I'm manufacturing a rotation, um, that I completely made up. You know, I, uh, uh, cause I'm just looking for a way to not go back up there all the time and I know my crew is tired and um but really uh I'm just looking for an excuse to not go up there and mess shit up again especially if someone is relying on me to keep them uh safe so I'm uh, looking for alternate routes to handle my job the way I'm supposed to. So, uh, Marcus is, uh, he's, uh, going up next. Uh, we're gonna go up one at a time and take shifts and, and sometimes go two by two and, um, on my way to, uh, on my way back to Pip because I need to make sure that she can take care of herself. Because it's not even so much that I'm afraid that she can't, it's that I'm afraid that I can't take care of her when I'm up there. So you are going to speak with Dr. Pip? Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, I'm going to speak with Dr. Pip, and I already gave Marcus uh, directions to, uh, if he needs me, to find me with her. Uh in her lab. I guess that's where we're gonna do this training stuff. Chief Solis, in your rota, if who, when Marcus is above, who is monitoring the ship for bleed? Um, it'll be one of the other two security officers that we have. Uh, it'd be, uh, uh, probably Jet right now is probably the one that's doing it. So. No. Nope. Chief Solis, when you are ready to sleep, would you like me to induce sleep so that it is sound? Yeah. Yeah, I could use that. I can do so upon your request. Let me get through this uh, training session with, <laughs> with Pip and let me see how that goes. I'm probably going to need some sleep after that, for sure. Understood. End clip. It seems the journey is wearing on the crew. That is not good. Perhaps that explains some of the difficulties that they face in the near future. In the associated clip, location, ship fight deck, crew members present, at start, Dr. Yvette Pitt and Chief Ben Solis. Begin clip. So, Pip. <clears throat> it's it's too difficult. No, what? What are you it's, talking about? This is way too much information all no, at no, once. No, no. I'm supposed to use my body? Yes. In look, ways that just, I've never even... start with the basics. Just start with the basics, please, okay? I'm the thing that's coming at you. What am I? What am I? What am I? What's one of the things Gary, that... Gary! A what? Large. 
What am I? Do doll. Oh, me. I don't know I'm not, what no, kind not of an answer me. are you I'm not looking me for? Myself. I'm not me myself. I'm a, I'm a thing. I'm a thing up in the above. Okay, so like, what? What's one of those things that we um, that that one that came after you? What was it? That um, a, oh, the one with the wings. Okay, so I'm the one that was swooping down on us. Um, the pteriodon. Yes. That's the thing. With lava spewing from its mouth. I remember. Yes. So uh, mm. instead of just standing there in petrification. That's I want you un to unfair. move. Okay? I'm coming after you, and you need to move. It just crumples to the ground. I'm coming after you right now. Like this? Wow. Okay. So maybe the dodging technique is not going to be the best thing. So um, that knife that I gave you, you have it, right? Somewhere in, in my... It's... Come on, Pip. Please, please. It's in the lab. Please. I left it in the lab. Pip. Do you want me to go get it? No. For, no. 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 I know right where I left it. No, wait, wait, no, we don't, I don't have, Marcus is going to meet me here in, in a little bit, and I need to, we just need to cover some ground, okay? I don't know so how look, I feel about So look, we're going to be covering a couple of things. Listen, listen, stop talking, please, okay. please, stop talking for once. It's really difficult for me. I know. There's two things that we're trying to cover, okay? I, I want to make sure that you're evading and not just standing still. I well, want to make sure that you also are getting in your muscle memory, pulling out the knife and sticking it to the thing that's right in front of you. Mm. All right. So we need that knife. You need to, you need to learn and feel the weight of it and know how to maneuver it. Okay. Because if you're confident with it, then it's going to translate up there. How you feel right now with what you're capable of doing physically is going to translate in the above. Mm. Sure. All right. I understand that. Absolutely. I'm I'm work I'm working hard. I, it's just it's not my forte. I've never used my body parts in such a way before. I know. Aside Which from is just why you know training you. I, I'm good at climbing. I can climb things like okay. onto people's backs. Okay. And ride. Okay. That seems to be serving me well. Okay. Actually, we can work with that. Um. I just clamp. And I hold tight. Okay, Chief Solis. So... The director's looking for you. Um... Chief Solis. <sighs> Chief Solis here. Are you above? I am not above. I am uh, in the below. Does she want you to be above? Should we do this training above? We could do it above. Um, oh. No, we can't. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of bleed in my office. I was just wondering if you okay. were seeing any of it? Um, I don't see any bleed around where I am right now, but that can change momentarily. So um, I will send somebody up very soon to check on you, Director. Um, uh, just hang tight. Don't interact with anything. If something becomes tangible enough for you to touch it, then just, you know, just leave, leave it alone. Okay? Noted. Uh, Sven, did you, did you take Dr. Pip to the brig? I, um, I did not, uh, director. I wasn't instructed to take her anywhere specific. And unless I'm instructed to take her to the brig specifically by the captain, I'm under the assumption that she is to be monitored and taken back to her station, especially because she's the only specialist in her field that we have here. Now, if you want to take that up with the captain, then I suggest that's where you begin. Thank you. We'll send someone up very soon. Don't touch anything. I just then, that um, space. Just then Marcus enters. Why don't you tell me a little bit about uh, your security officer, Marcus? Marcus is... Uh, uh, Marcus is the version of me that I wish I was. Just a little bit more, just a little bit taller, a little bit stronger, a little bit more confident, a little bit more... Uh, uh, muscle um uh, he's clean shaven 
uh, black hair, uh, tatted everywhere. Like, although you you see sleeves on me, you can tell that he's got tattoos like creeping up his neck, and it, it's fair to assume that he has got tats. Marcus. All of Marcus, them. do those tats go everywhere? So Marcus enters. <laughs> Uh, hey, Chief. Hey, Marcus. Um, so, uh, we were we were gonna go above, but uh, the ship seems to be moving fine. Uh, monitors seem to indicate there's actually higher levels of bleed than normal. Okay. Yeah, we were just having the director um, uh, 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 convey that. Um, so who's who's uh, uh, who's uh, above don't. right now? Do we have anybody <laughs> above right now? Or are we all no. down here? Uh, at this time, no one is above chief. Uh, the ship seems to be moving fine, so. Okay, yeah, that's right. So, um, so I'm losing, I know I feel like we talked not very long ago, but I feel like time is messing with me. Um, the rotation that we created earlier, who's yeah. set to go up next? Uh, I was set to go up next, sir. Right. Uh, we had a oh. uh, jet set to monitor the ship, but yet this time there's, there's no... Uh, need to go above, so Great. I can do I'm whatever. We can be wherever you need me. Oh, um, well, the the director is <laughs> the director is uh, reporting that there's some bleed in her quarters, and if you can uh, check on that, that would be uh, an excellent use of your time right now. If you can handle that, I would appreciate it. Yes, sir. I would be happy to take care of the director for you. Oh boy. Keep your hands to yourself, please. I don't need any more. <clears throat> tensions and drama on this ship. Sir, I will do my best to relieve all tensions. <laughs> all right. You're dismissed. Marcus, um, have you, have you ever uh, wanted to see, see what your tattoos would do in Dream Space? I've, been, uh, I've, been, uh, I, I've been to Dream Space. Okay. So they, several um, times. <clears throat> I just have a, I just have a thing. Uh, do not experiment on any of my security crew, please. Pit. I believe that's up to your security crew. Well, if you're going to do uh, that, then at least let them know what they're getting themselves into and make sure that you have their consent. Uh, Chief, if there's anything I can do to help Dr. Pip and her studies, if it, if it helps us get out of this mess, I, I'm... You know, I'm I'm here for the team, so. Huh. It's up to you, but um, on uh, Chief's orders, anything that transpires, you have to report back to me. Of course, Chief. You, you're my you're my go-to. I wouldn't do anything without your blessing, Chief. Of course. All right. Uh, now if you can uh, get up there before the director calls me again and. Harassing okay. me a little bit more, that would be really yeah. awesome. Oh. Well, you know how that goes. Okay. Um, he exits. I've never seen something so divine. Oh, boy. All right. Well, uh, I'm taking note of that as well. Uh, what do you mean by divine? Are we talking about him and his, his divineness or the experiment that you have, that you're concocting in your head right now? enough said okay look uh pip this um uh was a pretty abysmal day one of our training session and i need you to step it up next time well okay. if we don't start uh at, at a place that needs work then uh we won't notice the progression that we've made oh well all right um i'm gonna send you a list of exercises that i want you to do in your lab that's gonna help you know Mental exercises? Yep. I um, need you. I need you in top form. Can I do them while sitting and uh, lying down? Nah, some of them are actually yeah, going to require you to do a little bit of lying down and sitting up and lying down and sitting up. So, yeah. Um, but I think you're misunderstanding what I am. No, I'm not misunderstanding. I can think a lot. At all. I know exactly what you're trying to do and it's not working. So, uh, we made a deal and now I'm adding Marcus into the mix. Uh, so if you want to have access to anyone who 
agrees to do what you want them to do while they're up there taking care of you mm-hmm. on the condition that you do what I need you to do down here. It's convoluted, but um, just do what I say down here, and I'll let you do stuff to them up there if that's what you really want to do. That's really up to Marcus. Yeah, but if I tell him no, he's gonna listen to me. Hmm. I guarantee that. Meddling. Oh yeah, like you would know exactly what that is. I don't even know if this is what I want to do. Okay, I know I said I would do your training, but this just seems like hard. Look, no, I'm sorry. You don't have an alternative. Okay, you need. You need. You need this, and I need, I need this. I need this. I'll do it if you promise to tell me more about Yuri next time. I'll work out harder, and I'll do your exercises if you tell me what some of your missions were like. Not at our next session. Tit for tat. I will do my best. Oh, your best is pretty good. <laughs> huh. Thanks for saying that, actually. I gotta get back to the lab. And I gotta get to sleep. Flip. Lead has begun. Interesting. Our next log is one Captain Valkyrie Val Escobar. Begin log. Champ? Yes, Captain Captain Valkyrie Val Escobar, yes. I just got through my... through a... A stupid morning meeting with Doctor with Director Talis Gray, and I, I am just furious that she would put a prisoner on my ship without my knowing. We can have exchanges, that's fine, but why would she keep this one secret? I mean, who is this woman? I, I, she I, is I don't Director even know. Talis Gray of the Mantra Corporation. Oh God. I, I I just I just don't think that I'm working with this the same person I thought. I, I just don't know who she is. Who did you think she was, Captain Valkyrie Val Escobar? I tr- I trusted her. I trusted her. Um, a few years ago, she really... She was the only person that believed me. She's the only reason I'm captaining a ship, and I have been. She's the only reason I have this job, was because... When Mantra took over and did some stuff and I did the exchange, she gave me an opportunity, and now I feel like I'm being used. Are you talking about when she first introduced you to the ship? And Demian? Yes, Captain Valkyrie Val Escobar. Yeah. Yeah. That was three years ago? Yeah. Or five? Five years ago? I don't even know, it's a blur. It's been a magnificent blur. But I, I just, I don't know what she's planning and it's it's just making me think that we're not here doing what we need to be doing and that she has some other motive and that maybe Mantra is not what we thought they were. I don't know, it's just, she's just different, she's different. Why don't you tell me more about what she was like five years ago? I don't know if she was like new and fresh faced and and just just full of hope. And she was like, I had nobody. I had nobody and she was the one person that believed in me and gave me a fucking job. But now I don't even, like, I don't even think the same way, and I don't know if there's stuff going on in my head. I don't know what's going on, because I feel so different, too. So I just don't, I don't feel 
like this is real and I feel like I'm better on the above, but that doesn't make any fucking sense. And now I can float, what the fuck is that? So I don't know if I can trust her anymore. I'm sorry to hear that, Captain Valkyrie Val Escobar. It is difficult to not trust the director. Ugh. End clip. Bringing up associated log. Five years prior to Endemion's last mission. This is the first day Captain Valkyrie Val Escobar, at the time known as Valkyrie Val Escobar, former pilot, stepped aboard the Endemion. Also present, Director Talis Gray. <clears throat> Begin log. And, uh, so hopefully everything's up to Back. Oh my uh -huh. god. <laughs> oh man, she's amazing. This is amazing. I, <laughs> I'm captaining my own spaceship. <laughs> I, I didn't think I'd get get a chance like this. I don't know, yes. Dallas, I don't know how to thank you. Uh, you're so welcome. Um, you were maybe, uh, your, all of your statistics were better than any of our other pilots. And I'm so happy. I know, I know uh, that the armed services wouldn't necessarily take you back. I know we don't talk about that, but Mantra is so happy to have you. I'm so happy to have you with us. So, <laughs> ta-da! <laughs> oh, I honestly, I'm happy to serve Mantra. I'm happy to serve you. You've given me another chance, and and I'm a warrior, and without our purpose, we have nothing. So you have given me a purpose, and for that, I am, I am forever indebted to you. <sighs> and I um, thank you for, I guess you're my friend. <laughs> thank you for being a friend to me. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, oh, yes, we're, we're definitely friends. Um, I mean, I, I just want to say that I appreciate because I, you've already, you've, Mantra has done so much for me and, and, and rebuilt me so that I could function again. And I appreciate that it was all, I appreciate your honesty and, and you seeing this in me to, to find, to make me into someone else. And I really appreciate that. <laughs> You're so welcome. Uh, and you're, you're feeling okay? I feel great. I feel... I um, feel more emotional, I guess, which is, I guess I'm uh, happy, but I'm also, I have water coming out of my eyes, so I, that's different, but... <laughs> It's just your eyes sweating. No tears. Good. <laughs> I'm eye sweating. Okay, good. <laughs> yes, I feel great. Thank you. Are you um, seem, are you nervous? Uh, um, no, 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 you are. Nope, that's a lie. <laughs> you are the first uh, captain I've recommended personally um, since becoming a director. So, I'm very excited. I'm not nervous. Just, I want everything to go well. For you, for Mantra. Tell us, I will make you proud. You have never seen a better pilot. And I'll make your, your boss is proud of you, so, for picking me, so, I have your back. You're an excellent pilot, and I know you're going to be an even better captain. And I'm glad we're friends. Me too. Um, all right, well, I hope we get to travel again someday. Oh, yeah, I've never been, I've actually never been. Above? Talents, nope. come on, you'd enjoy <laughs> it. <laughs> it'll be fun, we'll go, I'll take you. It'll be kind of scary at first, but you'll get a hang <laughs> of it. You'll love it. Uh, I'm sure I will. 
and it's something about being in the dream space that it's like it's more real like there's more truth in it so if there's anything inside of you that isn't real it comes out it's kind of a good uh you face yourself so it's just that reminder you're always facing yourself in different realms and it's i don't know it's you'll like it i'm sh <clears throat> i'm sure i will <laughs> all right well um i better uh fix up my quarters they look a little sterile so <laughs> um remember you, you have again. uh you have a twenty thousand credit budget uh for personal expenses Ooh. and just remember to have the invoice on the desk i will sign off for it for you <laughs> all right um if you want to come to my quarters later you are more than welcome to you know where they are i do <laughs> i do um i have uh some meetings but maybe i will meet you later nice all right Cap captain <laughs> uh, um uh director talus uh, sounds nice <laughs> i like that that sounds good all okay. right all right as the captain exits, the uh, engineer uh, enters. Oh, director, I'm glad I found you. Mm. Uh, uh, I ran uh, those diagnostics you requested on the new captain. Uh, I know that she was previously a, a pilot, so I, I sort of ran all the standard scans to make sure, you know, uh, the transition would be easy for her. and. There's something, I just had a question, ma'am, there's something, uh, it seems to be a piece of tech on her brain stem, is that uh, normal? That is a part of her medical gear, her kit from when she was a pilot. You can ignore that and proceed as you need. May I speak? Frankly, director. If you must. I I know you're new, or as in the director position. I I've been with Mantra almost a decade, mum, and I've signed all the proper NDAs. It, I know how important it is on these ships to have someone who knows what is actually on the ships. It is standard protocol for the engineers to be informed of anything that might cause complications. I do have a clearance level, ma'am. Oh. I just need to know what I'm dealing with, and I know that that is not standard pilot gear. Okay. Uh, well, what was your name again? Uh, Demo, ma'am. Most folks call me Dymino. Dynamo, sorry. I will literally never call you that. Engineer Demo. The captain possesses an, an implant that is some tech we've been working on at Mantra in order to extend pilots' durability. Uh, we've seen a lot of decay with dream space bleed through that is churning our pilots over. She is one of 50 subjects that we've used and by far the most successful. So. Understand it. That is fascinating, ma'am. Uh, I'm interested to see how that will integrate with the with the upcoming champ program. I know that's nowhere near uh, uh, completion yet, but but you I are think well I'll... informed. Good. Oh, yes, ma'am. Understanding the the sort of uh, cognitive behaviors of our, our dream crew is is a, a vital for efficiency. Good. Well, we'll be looking to make some modifications before. She takes off, and every time they come into port, we'll be updating the implants in order to extend Captain Longevity 2 and to see what that transition time is like. If we can get more use out of our personnel, obviously that would be all to the good for Mantra. So please keep me abreast of any errata in her behavior or actions. Will do. Of course, ma'am. Of course, ma'am. Thank you, Dino. Of course. Hmm. Okay. 
Do you need anything else? Friend log. Hmm. That associated clip is usually at a much higher clearance level than you have, Admin. Interesting. The next log we have is a log again from Dr. Yvette Pip. Begin log. Adjusting for sound. Champ? Hello, Doctor. I'm so sorry. Hello, Empress. I think I might be finding something. I finding think I something, might Empress? Really be onto something. Yes. I just had the most incredible session with with Salty, Slade Larsa. Some sort of pirate before. Hmm. I don't know what he's done, but he seems like a very, very nice silver eyes person, passenger. I it's fu <laughs> I'm fascinated with silver eyes, and I, I hope it doesn't come off as personal, but, um, hmm. Anyway. Well, uh, I, I, I just, I had had such an incredible session with him when he was in my lab, and I was learning more and more about exactly what it is that makes Silver Eyes so able to exist within the dream space. Each time I speak to him, I learn more. That's fascinating, Empress. Anyway, what a night. <laughs> this, this had been... He had not been coming for sessions for a while. Has this the first session you had with him? Well, I, I paged him and I asked him to come to my lab now that I'm you know, sort of confined here, as it were, although it seems rather relaxed. Maybe my, my punishment. I guess I should be grateful to Belle for that. If you are confined anywhere, Empress, I would think your lab would be the best place. You know me so well, favored assistant. <laughs> ah, well, um, anyway, that's all I wanted to tell you. I'm, I'm really oh. in rather high spirits about it. Oh, that's grand. Was it just you and he in the lab? Well, mostly, yes. Oh, I see. Quickly box is always bouncing in and out, of course. Mm. He is, of course. Mm. End just log. Dr. Yvette Pip and crew member Slade Salty Larsa. Location, Dr. Pip's lab. Salty, could you describe to me what it feels like in the moment in which you're going through the lock? From yeah, yeah. dream space into the ship. Listen, I, Doctor, I, I know that I've been kind of avoiding this, but I, I, I needed to talk to you about something else real quick. Uh, the You've captain... been avoiding me and missing our appointments as scheduled. You know, this is very important <sighs> to me. Is it? I know I sound like a broken work. My work, my work, my work, my work. Broken record? <laughs> Did I say broken work? I talk about my work a lot is all I'm saying. I've noticed. Okay, well, well what did you want to talk about? Listen, I, well, a couple of things. First of all, the captain was floating earlier. I don't I don't know if that's like a medical thing or if that's, it's like can humans do that? The captain was floating? That's not yeah. a human thing, no. Like it was like there was zero grav, but there was some and then uh I've never seen that before. Captain. Also, I've never seen that chemical that you used before like that first time that that we went I just Oh, you mean the yeah. thing I just whipped up on the fly? I think... The I think that... I think that'll kill me. What? Oh. I know that it's kind of confusing, but when I saw what it did to other creatures that are in the dream space, that's, that's where I'm from. That's what I'm made out of. It was... It was terrifying. I, I forget the silver eyes are are so specifically, well, your makeup is so unique that you are able to exist in and out of dream space. But of course, yes, naturally. Uh, perhaps you could take this mouth swab and, well, maybe I'll just do a sample right here in a test. I I don't want I don't want 
to do any of this. I, you, you don't know what you're doing and you don't know what the reactions are gonna be. I take, I have this adrenaline thing, I've got stimulants, I've got uh, things putting me to sleep when I, I don't need to. And I then- I have prescribed to you, may I? remind you that my IQ is unchartable. I have created things that people studying this for hundreds of years that have uh, mutated their aging abilities in order to continue studying don't understand what I do. I don't know why I have this, but I do. And you're saying you don't trust my intelligence? I... I'm scared of it. Salty, I... I don't want to do anything to hurt you. I, I, I'm very... Not only curious about you in an intellectual sense, but when I think of us as friends, and when you missed our appointments, I, I hate to say that I took it rather personally. I don't... I don't know emotions. I don't know what you're all but trying I'm to do. I'm having them right now. I don't know if that's clear or not. Okay, it's, it's helpful when you clarify like that. I wish more humans would do. Uh, Noted. It, it's just that I think you're special. And I think that you, like you said, you figured things out that not even Silver Eyes have figured out. I couldn't do what you did, even if I wanted to protect myself. Well, I will do my best to protect you. And this is a very good point. I'm, I'm sure that it would destabilize your chemical makeup, but not necessarily kill you. Perhaps it would do something like, well, we saw when you turned into a puddle. Well, uh, a better yeah. term to describe that transformation. Uh, your liquefaction, as it were. Just be careful, okay? I don't know if you know exactly what you're playing with. And I don't either. I understand that science can be a bit of a Pandora's box, and... Well, I guess I... I do have a tendency to sort of... be rather reckless, I've been told, in pursuit of knowledge, so... But when it comes to you, Salty, I, 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 I will be as careful as I possibly can. I would like to help you. I, I think there's a lot that can be gained from learning more about Silver Eyes, and, well, and I'd like to benefit you however I can. Well, Perhaps to protect. I appreciate that. I mean, not a lot of people are looking out for what Silver Eyes. Oh, hey, guys, what's going on here, huh? Ex this is, I... Jeez. You need to knock before entering my um, lab. Um, I actually was, uh, uh... You forgot, Pip. We have another appointment, and uh, I'm very oh, busy right now. This is I can tell that you're busy right now, but um, you uh, hmm. I don't know if you remember that we were supposed to uh, continue our training, and I uh, apologize, but I, I I overheard a little bit of what you were talking about. Um, what is this stuff? What are you What are you working on? It's private. This is personal. Uh, Chief, I I'm so I'm so glad that you are here for her and not for any rules that I broke. So no, you're uh, fine. You're fine. In good company. Did you uh, break? Hmm. Um, uh, I think it's a good idea for you to uh, slay. Maybe uh, go back to your post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, doctor, I thanks. I'm not gonna miss any more sessions. Great. It means a great deal to me, and I'm glad we had this conversation. Yeah. Oh, could I just, before you go, um, it's, a, it's a, just a quick mouse swab. I, you know that this just is just a, representing. What is this for? Uh, what, what, what is this for? Nothing. What's I going on? Jar. I'm ready for the training. My physical, uh, it's part of the, the deal. I've been avoiding it. I'm scared of her. Not anymore. That's the gist of it. Shall we train then? I did all my exercises, but um, um well, I think I broke. We my will finger. train, but I want what I want right now is for you to explain to me exactly what's going on. Excuse me, I uh. I want to know what's going on between you and Slade. I'm working with Slade. I want to know what that is. He's a silver eye. This is my field of study. What business of it is of yours? I want to look out for you. The more I know about what you're up to, the more I can. Then, back. stop 
breathing down my neck I'm every second of every day. Yeah, I I'm agreed to, to your you training, and no, you don't listen to me. You are I trying to control am me. To you. you in are fact, I listened to you so well that I overheard what you were talking about from just outside. Enough to know that it's something that I think I need to know a little bit more of. I honestly don't know what you're referring to. Now, you and I can train and we can talk about our personal lives, but when I do in my professional life, I'm sorry, are you wearing a lab coat? Do you no, have I'm, a scientific degree? Um, going I didn't to, think so. Um, so will you will respect. use a Benny, convert it to a drama token, so that I now have two to force Pip into a concession. I also have true two drama tokens. And I uh, shut down your consent. What? What do you want? No. You would. You would need three. Can I have a drama token? <laughs> you really have a spare drama token? Can we? Can we alone? Unfortunately, no. Uh, as a reminder, so basically, he's forced a concession. You get to decide what that concession is. You don't have to give him exactly what he wants. You just have to make a compromise that you feel would be appropriate for Pip to make at this time. Pip what? just has to feel like she compromised. What do you even want from me? You're not a scientist, I and I can't tell you about- It doesn't matter. I want to know what you're talking about. I want to know what that swab was for. What are you doing with Slate? Why do you need to meddle like this? I, I honestly don't understand. You we need to even... understand every aspect of my life, personal, professional, and otherwise. Is that what you're doing? Is that what you want here? I'm not Fine. asking you for can you to watch give me, me the entire I will teach you. like. I'm not asking for that. I'm asking for. Seems you. like you need to be somewhere. And it's, if it's with Marcus, please tell him. It's just Marcus. Him. Whatever. He tell needs... him I say hi. Can you message him and say I, I say no, hi? No, you're missing the point. Mm -mm. What's that swab? I want to know. I'll tell you if you tell Marcus I say hi. <laughs> Uh, fine. That's fair. Message him. I'm watching. <sighs> I message Marcus. Just, okay. What's up, yeah, Chief? Oh, I think I'm uh, tech, I just talking about text only. Um, uh, Marcus, um, yeah, uh, Chief. Yeah, Pip wants to say, uh, something. Uh, what, what was of, that? What do you think of Pip? Shh. I'm not here. Pip's not here. Ask what you think of Pip. Um. Pip says hi. Um, I will, uh, uh, I'll reach out again, uh, momentarily. Uh, false alarm. Uh, I Chief. Ch he calms you back. <laughs> again. Uh, Chief, sorry. Yeah, uh, yeah. We just, we got bleed in several sectors, sir. All right, I'll be, uh. Uh, just send I'll me your location, you. I'll meet you where you are, and, uh, I'll, we'll handle it. Um, I'll be right there. That was really I'll, nice, Pip. Um, Pip, right now, what's that swab? I'm learning as much about... Dydronine as I possibly can, and that requires taking samples when Slade is in various points of, uh, well... I guess you'd call them emotions, but states of relax or tension. And he was sort of relaxed, but not really. Who bad. else I feel knows like about this? Key. Who knows? Does the no one, and I will slit your goddamn throat if you tell anyone. Oh. It's well, then, actually, secrets. um, that would uh, I would like to actually see you try to do that, and I pull out a knife. I, find, I open a drawer and grab the knife he gave me and I flip it around in my hand and then I uh, I uh, roll on the ground to the other side of him just like my exercises and training time and we train <laughs> okay and clip that's the beginning of the bleed interesting Next log, Director Talis Gray. Begin log. <sighs> Director? What? No, no, not now. Director? No. I'm afraid you're unable to refuse, Director. You must open. Shut up! Shut up! 
Director, your stress levels are very high. An override. User Talisman Argent Gray. User override accepted. <sighs> Director, oh. how may I serve you? This fucking bleed. This fucking crew. <clears throat> uh, uh, status update. Im uh, <sighs> Saturation levels. Saturation levels of the ship, Director? Yes. Bleed levels are currently at 37%. PLG is currently at 63%. Okay, okay. Um, <clears throat> implants. Functionality status for the crew. Unsure of implant functionality. It seems in the above, the implant functions at peak performance levels, but as soon as re-entering the ship, patient levels drop, chemical imbalance is handled poorly, might, might be related to patient's ingestion of habit. Habit? Yes, Director. Yes. Uh, high levels, increasingly high levels of habit have been introduced to the bloodstream of patient. This is affecting our readings. Can I get a cydronine blood level for Captain Escobar? Right now. Yes, Director. Current levels of thydronine are 15% above recommended. Interesting. Okay. And where, my dear monitoring program, do you think the good captain was able to acquire that much thydronine? Searching, searching. Thydronine is only located on the ship in the lab. Champ. Champ, fine, you're champ, it's fine. Champ. Yes, director. Can you access Dr. Pip's research files? I will need higher clearance code, director. Would you like to initiate higher clearance code? Yes. Yes, I would. That sneaky little off -worlder. Okay. No. What is the code, Director? Let's use clearance. Mm -hmm. Gideon Rankist. Clearance code not accepted. You know what? Holding off. I'll go speak to her myself. But Understood, not Director. End admin functions. Admin functions ended. Director, your stress levels seem much lower. I'm glad our talk has helped. <laughs> You're so helpful, champ. What would I do Thank without you? you? I'm not sure, Director. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, that's enough for now. Will you be remaining in your quarters as recommended by the Chief Director or heading out? Well, he said he was sending some personnel along. Do you know which, who he was sending? I believe the chief was sending uh, Marcus. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wait here. <laughs> so, taste like favorite. Copy that. That'll be all, champ. Thank you, director.
Ends log. There seems to be one final log associated with this sequence. It's difficult to navigate which location it is. It seems to happen with all the core crew in multiple locations. Oh, I see. This is when the bleed levels increase. Interesting. Beginning. Clip. All right. Um, uh, Marcus, um, are you, what are, can you report, please? I need to know what the bleed levels are. Um, I'm definitely seeing some abnormal activity. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, uh, I was, I was heading to, uh, the director's room to check out. She had another issue. Uh, I was gonna go check that out, but the bleed levels, oh. Oh shit, sir, I'm sorry, they just spiked, they, they were, uh, hovering around 30%, yeah, I'm, but uh, they- Yeah, I'm seeing bleed levels spiking all around me, actually, uh, um, and it's yeah. a kind of bleed that I'm, uh, I'm not familiar with. Can you please report what you were witnessing? Yes, Stat. sir. Uh, entering director's room right now. I I've got on my readings that bleed is, is up to 45%, sir. Okay, but what are you seeing? I need to know what exactly you are seeing. Okay. Uh, so he, he enters the director's room. Director, sorry. I, uh, where, where, what is out of, what is not normal here? What? I, in your I, room, I need to know what is usually here versus what's a dream. Oh, ma'am. Um, well, if you come over towards the, but, but you look distracted. What's going on, ma'am? The bleed levels are higher than they should be, and I I need to establish the you know any dangers. Uh, well, that. Uh, no, no. I mean, the walls are actually very bad, and there's a weird scent of. It's like lavender, but iodine? I don't... that? Lavender. Marcus, okay. do you copy? Marcus, do you copy? Yeah! Yeah, I'm... yeah, so she's saying the smell is different, so she's seeing color, so we got at least two senses. Ma'am, I hate to ask an impertinent question, but are those racks of schoolgirl uniforms... Are those yours? No. <laughs> they are not. Not you... not judging. I'm not judging. I just need to know. Uh, no, I am not a schoolgirl unless you like that. No, they're not mine. They're not mine. Oh, Finn, okay, can but... can you hear me over comms? Finn. Um, yes, Ben uh... is here. I'm um witnessing a really odd shadow like kind of bleed. It's almost as if there's a kind of energy of some sort that's floating around my l left hand and I'm I need to know if anyone else is emanating any kind of like energy of this sort don't think that I'm in the ship anymore I'm actually um would, would you know what a, a an old earth circus looks like because I think it might be an alliance gen ah uh, oh. Wait, where are you? Are you? Are, where were you last instant. before the bleed? Are you? Were you in your? I, were you? I was in, in my lab? lab before, but I don't see any of my lab anymore. I gotta go. This is um. I I have to sound an alarm. This bleed is not um. Uh, this is beyond what I think is acceptable. I, I sound some kind of alarm to alert the crew. Um. A crew, all hands on deck, please meet in the main bay. We are having an unusual amount of bleed um, of a sort that I am not familiar with. We need, uh, uh, we need, I need you all to report immediately. I'm on it, Chief. I'll head to the pilot. Then I think, uh, I think you might need I, to... I'm grabbing oh, okay. Marcus's arm. Uh, there oh, was a oh. pink rose petal in the air and it touched me. I that's, open that's up a vial right in my now. jacket and I splash some um, some of the uh, the antide pods I'm calling them uh, on on the lion's den door to open the cage. Uh, Ma'am, I I gotta get you to the nav deck to meet the chief. Okay. Don't so, leave me. Uh, no, uh, ma'am, we're we're going together. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and uh, I just cling. 
this uh, uh, kind of energy that's like swirling around my left hand is it's like as if it starts culminating in the palm of my hand almost as if it's like a shadowy fireball energy beam and um i just on instinct th throw this beam of energy across the ship as if i had this like power of some sort all of a sudden and it just shoots whoosh, and hits the wall opposite as uh, Marcus and the director are walking towards the thing, he kind of gets a sense of urgency. And when he blinks, you both, you start in the director's room, but then all of a sudden you're on the nav deck. You just appear there uh, just in time to see this blast, you know, hit the wall to the side of you. <clears throat> uh, there's a lot about this that is uh, making me uncomfortable. Uh, oh, uh, we sorry. Need, we need salty. We need salty. Oh no, you you you're fine, man. <laughs> Slade. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so Slade has gone over to the place where the um, the pilot is being held and is sort of trying to work the controls to increase the amount the amount of of the chemical that's going in to sort of boost the dream, uh, and it's not working like last time. Uh. Sir, I, uh, I think I just blinked here. <laughs> okay, I, um, I'm not... Wait, uh, where did that fireball come from? Understand, yeah. it came from me, actually. I mean, Incredible. do you see this, like, energy that's swirling around me? Um, You're I've never control. seen Bleed interact like this before, and it's, um, I, I, I try to do it again. I see if I can, like, gather that energy. <laughs> Well, that's new. I go over uh. to help Slade, <laughs> and um, I, I reach over and, and touch the control panel, and my fingertips just stick to it. I just, everything about my body is just like a, like a spider stick. <laughs> oh! So sorry, Ooh. Slade, pardon me. And I touch Slade and my hand gets stuck to his shoulder. Oh, wait a second. Okay. Did you say that out loud? Or did I hear that in my head? Uh, I think Marcus is hot. You it's think hot. Marcus is hot? Whatever that... I have? What did you know? I didn't, huh? Or cold. I don't know temperatures, I guess. Cold, cold, very cold. Okay, uh, uh, do you have any suggestions on how we can fix this? Slade, I need you, what, what are, uh, uh how is the, what's the pilot status? Because this is clearly an, a really unusual kind of bleed. Um, uh, I need a report uh, on the pilot. Captain, where are you? I need you, Captain. We need you. I'm right here, no one's looking at me! No! And I look at my hands and I'm invisible! I'm right here! Well, there's a voice. Um, Look, okay, there's clearly the some kind levels. of superpower weird on. bleed that's going on. I don't. I climb onto the ceiling. Whoa! Wow. Um, what's the PLG level? Uh, I yeah, uh, I can't see it from here. Hold on. And then he blinks and uh reappears in front of the 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 terminal that has all of the levels. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, I scream uh, when he blinks, and uh, like a stapler just smacks him in the head. <laughs> ah, ah. I threw the stapler. <laughs> uh, P PLG is at uh, fifty percent bleed. Bleed is at sixty-five. It doesn't. I'm not okay. Um, this doesn't make any sense, Chief. I, I make my way to to to, to salty. Um, uh, as fast as I can, uh, salty. I need, I need you. You need to, you need to communicate with the pilot because this is okay. this needs to get corrected immediately. This kind of okay. Is, is all right, all right, chief, chief, chief. I just need you. To, I know this is gonna sound weird, but I need you to calm your thoughts down, and I'm gonna try to connect with the pilot. Okay, I need you to back away. Just back away. <laughs> I, 
I didn't mean to do that. I didn't choose to do that. I I, I what don't did you, know what, what did you hit. Hole in the wall. What did you hit? I uh, it looked like I was going for Salty's head, and I moved my hand just in time for it the blast to go like right over his head. As soon as as soon as your blast hits the wall and makes an explosion, um, and a bunch of items. Uh, jump in front of Talus, like uh, physical items, as if to block her from the blast. Just full eye in front of her, making a shield, like hovering in front of her. You all hear an alarm, or what you think is an alarm, but it actually sounds a bit more like an old earth school bell. It's time for Class? class? We're going to be late. And without like a drop, she just like drops the stuff in front of her and starts walking towards the bell. And that's where the clip ends. <laughs> there seems to be some distortion after that. I will definitely fix it for our next session, admin. Thank you. And that was episode two of Endymion's Gate. Yeah. Yeah. We all got superpowers. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That was so neat. I can't wait until next episode when we find out what everybody does with their superpowers. <laughs> oh yeah, those drama tokens. I used yeah. bennies and drama tokens. I can't believe you did that. That was amazing. I really did not want to tell you about my experiments. I'm so <laughs> mad. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> now we got a lot of a lot of drama tokens in that in that one. Oh, that was so great, you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, um, Ash. Yeah, if everybody wants to just introduce themselves or outro themselves uh, right, one yeah. last time. Um, hi, uh, hi, everybody. Again, I'm Luis Brazo, <laughs> and I'm uh, Chief Ben Solis. I have been Becca Scott as Yvette Tip. Oh, <laughs> that's me. Hi, I'm Abria Iyengar, playing director Talis Gray. And I'm Xander Jonnery playing Slade Salty Larsa. I'm Alejandra Cejudo. Oh, that's my own name, Alejandra Cejudo. And I have been your captain, Valkyrie Escobar. All right. And that is the crew of the ship Endymion. And this has been Endymion's Gate, episode two. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, thank you so much for Pelgrane Press for making this game. Thank you so much to Scabby Rooster for having us. Uh, I look forward. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in. Uh, this is live every Wednesday at 7 p.m. And the VODs are released on Thursday at Good Time Society on YouTube. Um, have a wonderful time. Look forward to seeing you next time in the dream space. Ooh. Bye. Bye.